Welcome to yet another video on Power Automate Desktop. In this video, we shall see how to extract images that contain a specific text from a PDF file. My PDF file has 12 pages. Here's a sample page which contains images. The entire PDF file contains scanned images on each page. A page could contain multiple images as we see here. We are interested in extracting only those images that contain the word log sheet. Let's see how easily we can do this using Power Automate. This is the step-by-step -step process to extract the image that meets a particular criteria. Create a loop to browse through all the pages in the PDF file. Within the loop, we create three actions. The first action is to extract images from each page in the PDF file into a folder. Then we extract text from each image in the folder using OCR. If the extracted text in an image contains a specific phrase, in our case it's the words log sheet, move the image to another folder. This completes the actions within the loop. Outside this loop, we include these two actions. That is, empty the original folder that contains the images that do not contain the specific text. These files are not required anymore. On emptying the folder, the files would be placed in the recycle bin. And it's a good practice to empty the recycle bin. Let's see how we can do all these using Power Automate Desktop. On your screens is the opening page of Power Automate Desktop. To create a new flow, let's click on this tab, New Flow. We have to give the new flow a name. Let's call it Extract Images Containing Specific Text. Let's click on Create. A new screen opens up. There are three parts in the new screen. On the left pane, we have the various actions that are permissible. In the middle pane, we create the flow by adding several actions from the left pane and editing them. We can execute the flow also in this space. The various variables created by the individual actions will be displayed here. As you may recall, the first step is to create a loop. Loops repeat blocks of actions and iterate through stacks of items. So let's expand this and drag loop over to the central canvas. We have to select these parameters. The first is the start from. Start from is to set the starting point of the loop counter. My PDF file has 12 pages. So we will start with the first page and therefore we put the number 1 here. The N2 will be 12 which is the last page of the PDF file and we increment by 1 because we want to browse through each page. The variable produced by this action would be loop index. When the first page in the PDF file is read, the loop index would be 1. When the second page is read, it becomes 2 and so on. Let's save this by clicking here. The next step is to get images from a PDF file. For that, we shall search actions that are permissible on PDF files by typing PDF in the search window. We are interested in extracting images from PDF. Therefore, we drag this action and drop it within the loop. Now, we have to provide the name of the PDF file under the parameters. In order to select the file, we click on the Select File icon here. The file that I'm going to select is testpdf.pdf. Select this and click on Open. Now, Pages to Extract. Let's expand this and select single because we are looping through each page in the PDF file. Now, the single page number. The single page number will be the same as the value stored in the loop index variable created in the step. When we read the first page, loop index would be 1. The second page, the loop index would be 2. So the single page number would be the value stored in this variable loop index. For selecting the variable loop index, we click on this icon, which is select variable, and select loop index, click on select. The image names. For each image extracted from this file, we need to give a name. I'm going to name the images as image. The page number would be indicated by variable loop index. So let me copy this and paste here. If the first page has multiple images, then each image would be subscripted starting from the number 0. So the name of the first image in the page number 1 would be image 1, which is the loop index, underscore 0. 
zero. The second image in page number one would be image one underscore one and so on. If we have multiple images in page number two, the name of the first image would be image two will be the value stored in the loop index underscore zero and so on. The extracted images have to be stored in a folder and we have to give the folder name here. Let's click on select folder. I'm going to store the images in the split images folder and click on OK. In case your file is password protected, you can expand advanced and give the password over here. Now let's click on save. If you are creating the flow for the first time, it would be a good practice to execute this flow first, examine the various file names so that in the next step you can provide the correct file name. The next action would be to extract text from these images using OCR. So for that, we search for OCR actions in the search window. We are interested in this action which is extract text with OCR. This action extracts text from a given source using the specified OCR engine. Let's drag this action under extract images from PDF but within the loop. OCR engine type. There are three types. This is going to be deprecated so you can select either of these. I'm going to go ahead with Windows OCR engine. The OCR source, there are three options and my file is an image on disk so I select image on disk. Now we have to give the image file path. This is where the image names are very important. The images created in the first step have to be observed carefully while giving the image name in this file path. Let's click on select file. My files are available in the split images folder. I select this and my file name would be image percentage loop index percentage underscore zero. I have observed that in all the pages the image subscripted with zero is the image that I require. The most important thing that we have to remember here is to provide the extension of the file name. So we have to type dot png. Let's click on open. The OCR engine settings, the Windows OCR language, you can select many languages, image width multiplier and image height multiplier. It's better that we leave it at the default values. The variable produced by this action is OCR text. So let's click on save. The next step is to check whether the OCR text which is the variable that is created in this step contains the words log sheet. For that we use the if condition and let's type conditionals in the search window and drag if and drop it within the loop under extract text with OCR. The first operand the first operand is the OCR text which is generated in this step. For selecting the variable OCR text, let's click on this button which is select variable and select OCR text, click on select. The operator, let's expand this and select contains. We are going to check whether the OCR text contains the second operand. The second operand is the words log sheet. In order to ignore case, we are going to toggle the switch on. Let's click on save and we have created an if then block. If the OCR text contains the words log sheet, the next action would be to move those images into another folder. For that, we shall look at the actions which are applicable to files. Let's type file in the search window and let's drag move files and drop it within the if block. Which files should be moved? The image files that contain the text log sheet. So let's click on select file option. Our file is in the split images folder and the name of the file is image percentage loop index percentage underscore zero dot png. Always remember to include the file extension. Let's click on open the destination folder. Let's click on this folder. We are going to move the files that contain the words log sheet into another folder which is clean images. So let me click on clean images and click on OK. If this file name already exists in this folder, what should be done? Let's expand this. We have the option to overwrite. So I select overwrite and click on save. 
After these actions are completed, we will be left with files that do not meet the criteria in the original folder. So we have to empty that folder and for that let's find out actions relating to folder. Type folder in the search box and we are interested in the empty folder option. So let's drag and drop empty folder outside the loop. Now the folder to empty is the original folder. Let's click on the select folder option and select split images which is the original file in which the images were extracted. So let's click on OK and click on save. As the files deleted from this folder would be placed in the recycle bin, we need to empty the recycle bin. So for that, let's look at actions in workstations. So let me type work here and we have the action empty recycle bin. So let's drag it and drop it as the last action. We have completed the flow. To execute the flow or run the flow, we have to click on this run button. You can see the various actions in the loop being executed and the variables changing. We find that there's an error in moving the files. Can't move file to the new folder. And we can see a red border around this action, which means that this action has not been executed. Let's see how we can fix this. I'm going to close this window. The problem for not executing this action does not lie in this action, but it lies in this action. To edit this action, click on the ellipsis, click on edit and whenever we select image on disk, the search mode cannot be whole of specified source. Let's expand this and we have to select specific subregion only. You need not mention the x1, x2, y1, y2 coordinates. You can leave them blank. Now let's click on save and to reinitialize these variables, we can click on this option clear values. That's not mandatory. Let's execute the loop once again. You can see the movement and now there are no errors. The flow has been executed successfully. Now let's see whether the images that are required have been extracted. Let's go back to our folder. Let's click on clean images and we can see that the images have been extracted here. Let's open one of the images, see if it meets the required criteria. We can see that the image contains the words log sheet. Let's go back and check whether the empty folder action has executed properly. So let's click on split images and we find that the folder has been emptied. Let's go back, let's check the recycle bin and we find that the recycle bin is also emptied. So our flow has executed successfully. Let's recap what we did. The first step is to create a loop. Within the loop we use extract images from PDF and in this we gave the PDF file name. The pages to extract remember to give it as single and here the page number give it as loop index variable. For the newly created image files we give the name as image and loop index. However, if a page contains multiple images each image would be subscripted starting with the number zero. Now the newly created images will have to be saved in another folder and in case your file is password protected, you can give the password under the advanced option. We click on save. The second step would be to extract text from each image file that is created by this action. We use the Windows OCR engine. The OCR source is image on disk and here we have to give the file name. While giving the file name, ensure that you give the file name that is given in the first step. You must first examine the split images that are created and then provide the file name accordingly. And while providing the file name, please ensure that you give the extension as well. Now, the most important point to remember is that instead of the default value whole of specified source, which resulted in an error, we have to use specified subregion only. Once we've extracted the text from each image file, we have to check whether the extracted text contains the words log sheet. For that, we created the if n block. And in the if n block, the variable OCR text is the first operand and the operator is contains. And the second operand is the words that we are going to search, which is log sheet. And to ignore case of the second operand, we can toggle the switch on. 
if the condition is met we have to move those image files into another folder so we use the move file action we have to give the file name again please remember to give the extension as well and then we have to give the destination folder wherein this file has to be moved and if this file already exists in this folder we use overwrite click on save once the required files have been moved to the new destination the original folder contains files that do not meet the required criteria and we can empty the folder by using the empty folder action the empty folder action requires the name of the folder on emptying this folder the files in this folder would be deleted and placed in the recycle bin for emptying the recycle bin we select empty recycle bin action from the workstation actions we don't have to give anything here just save hope you found this video useful if you like this video please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues our youtube channel has a lot of useful content please subscribe to our channel and while subscribing to our channel please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all option so that you shall get notified as soon as we upload new content in our channel please visit our website paddycosmos.com thank you very much for your continued patronage and support see you again with yet another video have a great day